So moving on, I also wanted to remind everybody that there is a quick command and that is control R, which is going to allow you to rotate or cycle through all of your viewports. This can be super helpful if you ever have any viewports that are kind of overlapping with each other. But even if you just have multiple viewports and you need to go from one to the other quickly, hold down control and tap R. You can see here it switches between the two. This is a great way to save time, especially on complicated, say, detail drawings where you might have six or 10 different viewports, each in a zoomed in detail of an object or a project. Cycling through them can be a huge game saver. And as I mentioned, if we have two viewports, so I'm going to create a viewport here on top of each other, it can be difficult to select one or the other, depending on where you're clicking. Once you've accidentally clicked onto one, it's difficult to click into the other. You can see here, I can't click into the one I just created because it's on top of or behind the other viewport. But using that control and R allows me to cycle through them pretty easily. Lastly, before I let you go, I wanted to share another great tip when it comes to viewports, and that's the fact that you can actually copy them, including all of their scales and settings from one layout to another with just a quick copy and paste. So if you select your two viewports here and you hold down control shift and tap C, this is going to activate the copy with base point command. Now you're going to want to choose a base point that is similar in your other layout or title block. I typically will use the bottom right or left corner of the title blocks.